Hey, how's it going? Big Yumbo here. Uh, today I'm just going to do a... Oh, that's so stupid. Hey, how's it going? Big Yumbo here. Today I am just going to do a little classic bins haul for you. We spent... $43 on all this great stuff. And, um... Okay, so we got a uh, CC Filson t-shirt. This is one of the greatest brands of all time to sell, which I never find, but... I've looked up their comps on all their stuff, and it's quite good. I have not looked up what their t-shirts sell for, but I would assume that I get at least 20 bucks plus shipping for this t-shirt right here. It's got that little Filson logo there, which is letting everybody know that these people are wealthy and they can afford this brand. And it says, might as well have the best on the back. And you know, everything at the bins, like I've said before, is $1.59 per pound, so we'd probably pay about a dollar for that. I found all these Western shirts there with cool prints on them. They're not really desirable brands of Western shirts, but still grabbing them because of the print. This one got a little eagle on it. Uh, the company's called High Noon. It's a size medium, but it's kind of big, so might be good because of the print. Here's another one where I just liked the print. I don't do that if I went to the regular thrift store, I would not buy this or that really. Um, but at the bins, you can have a little fun. The company's called SDI. And this is made in Taiwan, which I don't think is a vintage place. You let me know. Uh, but it's, this is kind of a popular look right now. That like uh, Aztec, Southwest, Western uh, kind of look. I don't know. Let's see, we got a little vintage shirt. This is the only vintage shirt I think I found. Uh, I grabbed it and then this guy was like, oh, whoa. so I think it's good. It's got Michael Andretti. This is like a Formula One kind of guy. Single stitch, and it's got a little... I don't like when people say, um, the vintage people on YouTube, they'll be like, oh, we got a hit on the back. A little hit on the sleeve. Get the sleeve hit. Oh, and I don't like when people call it a piece, either. Like, they'll be like, oh, check out this piece. I just can't stand that. It's just... It's just fabric. Uh, we've got Torrid. Kind of denim jacket. This is a company that makes a bigger ladies clothing. I've sold their jeans a couple times and they do all right. I didn't look it up in there, I probably should have, but I grabbed it. Hopefully, uh, I usually sell their jeans for like 18 bucks. I usually sell everything for about 18 bucks, so. This one is a Wrangler and I'm gonna call this vintage whether it is or not. Cause that might be the, the factor that uh, decides whether I sell it or not. Uh, it's got this cool America graphic on it. I don't grab uh, the Wrangler Western shirts that much because they sell them at Walmart. And I've seen YouTubers buy the ones in the thrift store that I know are for a fact are the ones from Walmart and they try to sell them. But yeah, they're not that valuable. That one might be a little more valuable because it's got a cool print and it's possibly vintage. Prana, I pretty much always grab this brand at the bins, even if it has stains like this one does. These are women's. I would love if these were men's but they're not. Prana, they sell it at REI. And then we've got some, then we got some figs. <laughs> technical collection, they all say technical collection on I've never found ones that don't say technical collection. So I just assume there's only one collection of figs and here is something from that collection. This is a great brand and it sells great. Sorry, I'm hungry, you know, so. Uh, here's another Western shirt. Again, cool pattern. That's the only reason I got it. This one does say Made in USA. So, I'll be putting vintage all over that title. Probably say 90s or 80s or something. The company's called Rocky Mountain. Again, probably not that valuable, but woo, this is the best find of the day. This is such a good find that after I found it, I walked away from the bins, looked up comps on my phone, and I went over to this guy that I barely know and showed him how good the item was, which I've only done that once or twice. But you know, sometimes you get so excited you just need to show somebody. The company is called Triple Ot Design. I've only sold this brand one other time. I sold some of their jeans and they sold for a hundred bucks. I put it in a video, but nobody watched that video. So maybe you need to be reminded, but the comps on this we're looking between 150 to you know 200 bucks used. And this one, ooh, it 
kind of smells, unfortunately, but is new. This one is new with the tags. Ooh, and it's a 3XL. It's kind of a small 3XL. I don't know, what, sh what do you do when it's new but it smells? That's a tricky question. I actually got this stuff at the dollar store the other day. And it kind of works. You just spray it all over everything. You hang it up on a hanger, spray this on it. And it also gets out the wrinkles. It doesn't say that on here, but I sprayed it on like four or five things that I couldn't wash. So, you know, check your local dollar store. I'm kind of bummed that this smells. Oh, it smells kind of bad. Uh, some ex officio convertible hiking pants. Last time I looked up ex officio women's convertible hiking pants, the sell through was horrible, but I'm thinking this summer, since it is almost summer, well, it's pretty much summer here now. It's like 70 degrees out. It's beautiful. I'm thinking this summer it's going to be good. We got a, just a basic uh, Nike t shirt, but this had kind of a funky wild print on it. And I get Nike when it has funky cool prints. Yeah. And the logo is nice and pristine. A lot of times it'll be cracked. Nike makes horrible products. Their quality is terrible. Under Armour actually makes way better clothing. I don't wear either of them really, but Under Armour, their attention to detail is so much better. Oh, here's another vintage uh, jerseys t-shirt. It's a women's like crop top Chico Hot Springs t-shirt. I don't know. 12 bucks. I guess I did get more vintage. This one is a vintage OP t-shirt. Vintage OP sells incredibly well. This one is not in the best shape, but I guarantee you this sells because Vintage OP is such a strong... Let's see if it's made in USA. Can't really read it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and call it Vintage. Vintage OP is great. Especially their shorts, their corduroy shorts. Uh, we've got some Columbia XCO. I'll give you a dollar if you can tell me what XCO stands for. Uh, men's hiking pants or whatever XCO activity is pants. This is kind of a very basic Nike thing. So I don't know, maybe 12 bucks on this. Just a little Nike women's running pullover. Got some vintage. Wait, are these vintage? No, these are not vintage. Sorry. Just some 513s in a cool like faded black color. I just sold a pair of 513s the other day. And something in my brain was like, oh, buy those, buy those. I don't, I don't know, but I bought them. Marmot does all right for like outerwear. These are like women's athletic shorts. I'm gonna go ahead and call them hiking shorts, even though they're probably not. This is probably a $10 thing. Uh, vintage, uh, I did get a lot of vintage shirts, I guess, sorry. Uh, vintage Luxor Las Vegas t-shirt. Ooh, this one. This one has an odor, kind of cool. And this one has another vintage shirt. This one, I'm gonna be a little tricky on. It has single stitch and it's got a vintage looking graphic, but the tag says made in China real big. So what I was gonna do is just rip the tag off <laughs> and then Vince single, vintage single stitch t-shirt. Estimated size large. And you know, it's really a victimless crime. Uh, North Face performance like hiking shirt. I probably meant to look this up. It's a t-shirt that says the filthy flamingo surf gang on it. And you know, the company's called Duvin. I'll pop up on the screen if it's good or bad right here. There's a 50% sell through rate on Duvin t-shirts. They sell between 10 and $20, so not that great. We've got some Lululemon leggings. I'm in love with Lulu lately, especially when I can find the style code. These ones are in pretty good condition. They're a little, oh, never mind. That is kind of a deal breaker right there. Do you see that? But you know. We lost 75 cents and I could probably still get 10 bucks out of them. This one just kind of said buy me on it. Playboy it says, and then it's got a little embroidered Playboy here. 
I looked up comps on eBay and 90% of the ones that are sold are uh, new for like 30 to 40. And there's a couple used comps for like 25. This is a women's oversize. It's huge. And it's just in such perfect condition and it's really soft. I just had to grab it. Smells nice too. This is a good little find. Columbia PFG women's shirt. It's vented in the back. That's kind of what you want. And it says PFG on it. So that's for fishing. Actually, this might be a men's. No. Here's how I remember. Wait, shoot. I don't know for snap buttons. But for, for regular button shirts, if the buttons are on the left when you're looking at the front of it, so this side, the buttons are on that side, it's a men's. The buttons are on this side, it's a women's. And this one has snap buttons, so which which one is, I don't know. It doesn't say women's, I don't know, sorry. Men's, women's. Ooh, we've got some vintage Levi's. These ones are the Levi's 17560-0260. Um, made in USA. They're, that's like a girls nine. Cause I believe odd sizes are girls and uh, evens are boys, but I'm probably gonna list it as a women's nine and then put the measurements, which is gonna be more like a, I see a lot of girls in the bins do this to estimate the size of the waist. So I wear a 34, so these should be a 34. No way, these are like a 28. These look like a 28 to me, which should fit a young woman. Columbia hiking shorts, cotton hiking shorts, um, Hurley shorts. These ones that say Phantom on it sell reasonably well for me. I don't typically grab Hurley shorts. With a lot of these like uh, lower end, what do you call these? Um, not amphibian. Hybrid, with these kind of hybrid shorts, a lot of times I'll have the company Hurley, Vans, uh, Quicksilver. For Vans, you want the Van Fibian. For Hurley, you want the Phantom. For Quicksilver, you want the, I'm not sure what it's called for Quicksilver. For Volcom, you want the Surf and Turf. There's different types of models that do better than just generic ones for each brand. And like I said, for Hurley, it is the Phantom. Here's a decent little find. We've got some board shorts. They are Affliction brand. Um, I find a lot of Affliction and Ed Hardy board shorts and they sell great. Pretty much a guaranteed 25 bucks if the size is right. Let's see, some North Face cargo hiking shorts. Not a great find, but I think this summer the price will be inching up to about 25 bucks on these. They're Ripstop, which is kind of a nice touch. Good keyword for you there. Uh, I've got some Nike Pro. These are like, these are Pro Combat. And they are like football padded shorts or compression shorts. Uh, these sell great, especially I like to sell the shirts. I find those most frequently. I haven't sold the shorts in a while, but I'm guessing I'm gonna do just fine on these, get at least 20, 25 bucks. Yeah, another pair of Columbia cotton hiking shorts. Just a generic kind of cheap band tee, ACDC. Black Ice. I didn't, I've never heard of ACDC Black Ice, but it's on this uh, liquid blue and the liquid blue vintage tags are super valuable, but liquid blue for these cheaper shirts is still a good keyword. So you throw liquid blue ACDC band t-shirt, men's XXL. And because you put liquid blue in the title, it's going to get more views and therefore sell more quickly, even though that's still a cheap shirt. These are probably my two favorite finds of the day. They're not the most valuable things in the world, but this is the company, The Territory Ahead. And this is like a men's, what do you even call this? Patchwork, flannel, Southwestern Aztec print button up shirt. Super cool. I just really like it. And I do love this brand. It's not the best selling brand in the world, but their tops, even their t-shirts. If you, the, All their t-shirts are made in Peru, all the ones I've found. And then what you do is you say Peruvian cotton. And it's just a good little keyword there. And here's another one from the Territory Head. This one, 
might fit me and I, I think I might keep it. I like these little button down shirts that only go halfway or button up shirts that only go halfway. I don't even know what you really call that. Do you put this in the polo category or the button down shirt category? Either way, it's really cool. And that is the last find of the day. Thank you for watching. My name is Big Yumbo.